happy Wednesday. I just got back to the room. It's about the middle of the day on Wednesday, and we are pooped out. We've been out since early, early in the morning. We went to some, some thrift stores today. We did a little Walmart clearance shopping into one of the country stores, and I just wanted to share with you guys what I found. So let's start with the candles from Walmart, just in case you guys want to go check your Walmarts. They are marking the candles down. They were actually doing it this morning, the minute that they opened up. And this big candle right here from Yankee Candle, the Spiced Pumpkin, they marked down to $1. So I was so excited when my husband grabbed it for me. We're going to go back and get several more. So this is a two wick candle and these are perfect and I don't care if it's fall or not fall. A candle is a candle and it smells up my house pretty. I'm going to take it. Then this one right here in this beautiful jar and I'm obviously thinking that these were out for Christmas time but they do have a scent to them. They were originally $9.96 and now they're down to $1. So I'm thinking that even after the candle is burned down, I'm definitely going to save these jars. I think that they're really, really beautiful. And so that's pretty good. And the scent is nice. Um, let's see if we can find the scent. Yeah, warm apple pie. So that is the scent of this. And it really does smell quite incredible. Then he found me this one also with that little greenery and pine cone attachment. And look at how pretty the color of this jar is. I love that seafoam green. Again, it's $1 from $9.96. And the scent of this one is Fall Farmhouse. So really, really excited. He grabbed that one. And then last but not least for the candles, he picked this one up in this beautiful, beautiful jar also. So this one is Starlight Woods, and they are so, so pretty. So you can dual purpose these, burn the candle down, then use the jar to decorate or use it as like a small vase, just display the jars. So I was happy to find that. Then at Walmart, I found this pajama, and look at how cute this is. This is $6.98, and it's a nice big um, nightgown that is soft and flowy and so pretty tie-dye, but look at what it says on it. It says, be a nice human. So I love that so much, and so now I'm going to go in the shower. I'm going to get all warm and cozy put this on. It's quite long, but I think it would probably come down like mid calf. The length of it is about that. And they had all new pajama sets out. So this is going to be nice flowy. It has some really good sleeves on it. And to be honest with you, I've bought pajamas plenty of times before and I've worn them as like a summer, a summer like dress. I, I don't really care if people know it's pajamas or not and it's just really soft and comfy you know it'll be nice and baggy and loose and flowy so i love this so much they had a couple of different options of the tie-dye and a few other sayings but that one was my favorite then for the thrift store stuff i was so excited for these i got these for richie for summer swim shorts and they were four dollars and how stinking cute are these babies with the lobsters and the clams all over them. $4 at a thrift store. I had gone to try to get him swim shorts uh, maybe like a week ago at Walmart. They had new like swim trunks out and they were priced at $23. I've never one time ever paid. Sorry, the train's going by. Um, the mountain train out back. I'll just give that a minute. Um, but anyways, I went in $23 at Walmart. I've never paid that price for swim trunks or a bathing suit for myself. 
and this is the brand of them vineyard vines um they are so nice they don't even look like they're worn but yeah so i was really happy because i always try to get us new bathing suits and swimsuits every year but with the prices that i saw today not happening they even have these nice pockets uh well maybe one nice pocket on the bum area so if you really like these and look these up online maybe you can find them so i grabbed him those then wait until you see what else we got we found at the thrift store so i found some crocs and up here where we're staying there are some outlets a couple of miles away there is a croc store and we've all bought crocs this past couple of days um and they're having a clearance sale where the clearance crocs are you know pretty inexpensive i bought sandals that are Crocs for $24.97, and then you get a second pair for free. So Richie got some Crocs, I got some Crocs, and we only ended up paying $40 because they always take the higher price clearance, and then the one that's lower is the free one. So his were $39.99, mine were free. So we ended up paying about $20 a pair of Crocs, which is not bad because they're relatively very expensive, normally priced. And then we went to this thrift store and I found a pair of Crocs, my size for flats. They have really, really good, good, good um, soles to them, everything. They're in great condition. And I found these flats that are Crocs for $5. So I have Crocs, my husband has Crocs now. I have sandal Crocs and I found these at the thrift store. I'm so happy. And I bought my son and his girlfriend Crocs for an early Easter present when they were up here with us. So, so, so excited about that. Then I found my mom this book right here at the thrift store. This is like up her alley of the style book that she likes to read. So this one originally went for $9.99 and I found it for $2 at the thrift store. And it sounds like it is just, she's going to love it. Then I also found this one right here. And I really liked this one um, for her as well. This one was originally $16 and I found it for her for $2. So I grabbed her that. Then I wanted to show you. I found a tear tray and it's not a huge one. It's relatively small, but I absolutely love it. So this tear tray was $3 and it comes with the plates. So hold on one second. I should have probably had this set up before showing you, so sorry about that. Um, so this is what I found on the shelf. This tear tray was $3 with these plates right there. How amazingly cute is this? I absolutely love it. It's small enough to just set right in a corner on my counter space and put cute little items on it or use it for like my baked goods if I'm having a baking day to, you know, display on the counter for them to grab their muffins in the morning or whatnot all wrapped up. And so I couldn't believe that that was $3. Then I found myself this mug right here for $2. All I want for Christmas is you. And I have a Yorkie and I love her so much. I miss my baby terribly while I'm up here. So it says, Santa, make my wolf come true. All I want for Christmas, all I want is you. And so I found that for $2 and I could not leave that there. So that can be my mug for my candy girl. So I grabbed that. That's what I picked up from the thrift store. And then this is from the general store that's really, really famous up here in this area. It's Zeb's. 
and we've gone there already like three or four times, but this is the first time I've actually picked stuff up for myself. So, well, this is for my son actually. He found this the other day, but then he put it back. I don't know why. $6.99. And this is, I'm not going to say it, but that's what it says. <laughs> it's a root beer, barbecue sauce, mild, and that's the brand of it. So this is just something that he wanted and he wanted to um, get that day, but I don't know why he didn't pick it up. So I went back and I grabbed it for him. Then this is my favorite, favorite, favorite to get every single time that I come here. Oh, Richie, we didn't remember English muffins to have with the jam. Um, Apple Hill Farm right here. Maple apple butter. This is so, so, so unbelievably good. And oh, it's just delicious. And this was $5.99. So... I grabbed that, and that's a decent size jar. I mean, all this stuff is handmade and packaged right here. So I grabbed that. Then, Richie and I always get souvenirs for one another when we go away together. And he's here with me now. So we paid $12.99 for this piece right here. And this is just him and I sitting by the campfire when we're away on our camping trips throughout the entire summer. Um, and we just love making s'mores and being together. So we love this piece. It was unique and different. And they had a bunch of s'mores, little figurines. So we picked this one up. That's the one that we got because I loved it. And then I got this one for the two of us. And it's my moose family, my, my husband and the wife dancing around the campfire. That's what I'm imagining it to be because a lot of times that's what we've done. You know, after everybody goes to bed and him and I are hanging out, we usually listen to music and we dance and we laugh and we talk and we just sit around the campfire all night when we're camping. So I picked up this one and this is $5.99. So those are the two figurines that we got for each other this time around and I just love them. Now, let me move all this stuff. Now, this is kind of like a Dollar Tree haul thrown in to the mix because I wanted to show you guys the packs that I was talking about from the Dollar Tree that are the Crafters Square brand of the paper pack, the 200 grams. And then this is the package that it looks like. It's just a bunch of scrap papers. They're different sizes, different textures to them, different details. Um, each package has different colors in it, and there's quite a bit of paper in there. So I got several different packs because they all came with different color options. And this is what I'm making my intention cards on. So I grabbed a bunch of different ones because I wanted all the color variety in them. So I picked those up, and then I also grabbed some shred some decorative shred. I grabbed the yellow one because in these little buckets right here that I found at the Dollar Tree, and this comes from like the wedding section. This is nine piece favor set, and but I love the little buckets. So I'm gonna put this shred inside of each bucket and then I am going to use these Easter eggs to glue onto the shred so that I can make little Easter egg buckets for decorative purposes for my Easter decorations in my house. So these are glitter foam eggs and they're gonna look so cute. And then I grabbed two more wire wreath forms. So in a little while after we settle and eat lunch and just kick back for a little while because my ankle is killing me, we're both really tired um, and we're just gonna hang out with one another. I am going to do a video this evening and post it to show you how I am making my wreaths while I've been up here. I know that I've posted how they've come out, but Michelle had asked me if I could show her like how I do them. So I'm going to have him record me making the wreaths later, and then I will show you um, and post a video. So that's that. And now I'm going to clean all this stuff up. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. 
I love you guys super duper much, and I will see you tonight in a crafting video. All right, guys. Love you. Happy Thursday. Happy Wednesday. What day is this? Happy Wednesday. I'll see you in a little while. Bye.